Hello my friends, welcome to the Central Wines Gear YouTube channel. I am Declan, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. For those who are coming back, thank you very much for coming back to the channel. So, we have got close to about a hundred different options for workouts. They are aimed at our older adult demographic or anyone who needs exercise at a lower to moderate intensity. So do have a look on the playlist button and there are some chair-based sessions, circuit training, strength training, and of course Zumba Gold. Um, so for today's session, I haven't done a sort of a circuit training forward slash strength and endurance session now for a while. So I just wanted to do a fresh one. So you've got some new content that you can work with. So basically all you need is you need some, if you've got hand legs at home, fantastic. If not, don't worry. You can use water bottles, you can use um, maybe some cans if you like, uh, or just use your body weight, that's absolutely fine as well. I would also like you to have a, if you have a soft ball, like a, this kind of ball at home, that would be great. Uh, if you don't, again, don't panic, you can, you have a, let me just change the angle of the camera, my friend, so you can see me that better. You can use a soft cover book, fairly thick one, or just a rolled up towel, because you're going to place it between your knees at some point. So, just so you have those apparatus. Um, same with these feet, but you have some water to hand as well, just so you keep hydrated. Comfortable clothing, supportive, non slip shoes, please. So, preferably trainers. I would not recommend sandals or open shoes should you drop your water bottle or your weight on your toes. So, please, closed shoes for safety and non slip. And we're going to get started. Any injuries you are working with, please listen to your body. Check with your doctor or your nurse that you're able to take part in some light physical activity sessions um, and just be sensible. So I will give options, but you know, just always listen to your body. So to start off with, um, the other thing you're going to make sure you've got is just a hard chair, not a couch, but just a hard chair, so it's like sort of a kitchen chair that you can sit use. Um, you can pop your weights on there for now and your ball can also use it later on for some stretching and other things. Stand tall next to your chair, please. Check your space, whether you're in your living room, your bedroom, your kitchen. Make sure you've got space around you that you can move. So you can move the arms out to the side. Just check anything that you're not in any danger of knocking um, hands or kicking feet. Draw your abdominals in tightly, so really focus on navel to spine. Let's just start with an easy march on the spot. Yeah, so this is your go-to move. So if you need to come back to this at any point in time, absolutely fine. Come back to the march on the spot just to keep the heart rate at a reasonably steady pace. As you march it out, roll your shoulders for me. So just a couple of times forward, a couple of times back, just to loosen up the shoulder area. A lot of us carry a lot of tension around the shoulders. Try just consciously checking with your shoulder area now and let it go. You may also just want to turn your head side to side here just to loosen up your neck joints a little bit. That feels safe and comfortable for you. You may want to place your fingers on your shoulders and do some butterfly shoulder rolls backwards and then forwards just to really increase your range of movement around that area. Keep the march on the spot steady and shake up your wrist. Do some wrist circles now, do some up the wrist joints, move your finger joints as well, make your fist open up, and keep that pace. Now, you can stay with the march on the spot, my friends, or you can start taking it into a light little bit of a jog on the spot. So, a little bit of increasing the intensity a little bit here. Try not to stamp your feet down. We're just getting the body warmed up now. Focus on your breathing. Keeping the abdominals nice and tight. You can remain stationary. You might want to jog forward and jog back a couple of times here. Depending on where, which space you've got. Just to get that heart rate up a little bit. Keep a slight bend in the elbow. Move the arms a little bit as well. Excellent. We're going to do this for about another 20 seconds on the clock. I can see a clock just behind the camera. So if you've got a clock, just count 20 seconds in your head. Coming up to your last eight seconds. Three, two, one. Back to your march on the spot. Lovely. From here, we're going to do a knee raise to get our hips loosened up. So we're going to lift, 
left, alternating, and at the same time, just going to push the arms down. Just to get the hips starting to loosen up. If your balance isn't great, you can just hold on to the chair and just do it that way. Slight lean forward as you lift the knees up, just to loosen up your lower abdominals and your hip joints. Or again, you can just tap the thigh nice and easy. Four more, three, two, and one. Back to your march, lovely work. Checking your space again, take the legs a little bit wider, take the arms forward, palms face forward, hamstring curl with the chest press. So heels to bottom, arms push forwards and back. Just getting your chest to open and to move, heels to bum, nice and slow, nice and controlled, keep that pace. Let's go for three. Two and one. Back to your march on the spot, or you can go back to that little bit of a jog on the spot if you like. It's your choice. You all have different fitness levels. Work with where you are today, please. And again, you can jog forward a couple of times. You can jog it back. You can remain where you are. Just focus on your breathing. So nice and light. Rest at any time you need to. Come back in when you're ready. Lovely. From here, we're going to just do a side tap, side tap. So again, arms go out to the side, and we're just getting our outer thighs to loosen up. Crossing the arms over, focusing on the breath. You've got three, two, and one. Lovely work. Shake it up. Shake up your fingers. Move your wrists. Lovely. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer now. I know I am starting to. Take your legs up a little bit wider, soften your knees. Bring the arms up, spinal movement mobility now. So we're going to gently rotate one way, you centre the opposite way. Try not to move your hips, just move the upper body. So gentle movement here, let your eye line follow, so allow the head to turn, and always try to over your shoulder. Just getting your spine to move. You've got another three. Good work, all of you. Two and one. Lovely work. Walk the legs in. Shake it out. Good. All right. Start with that march on the spot or that jump. We can take it around the chair if you like. So we can go sideways, forward, sideways. You know, like around the front chair a little bit. Again, you can remain stationary in one spot. But make it a challenge wherever you are, whatever you feel up to doing today. Just keep that pace. Light on your feet, no stamping, please. So keep it light on your feet. Fill in that warm up, relax your shoulders. Let's go around one more time. And then we're going to hold it stationary and we're going to march it out. Fantastic. So we've got our warm up, my friends. We're going to go into the main workout now. So we've got our joints moving. We've got the knees, the hips, the shoulders, etc. moving. Strength training exercise. You're going to hold on to your ball or your soft cover thick block or your towel. We're going to pop it between our knees. Yeah, so pop it between your knees. As you do that, start to squeeze the ball in. So you're activating your inner thighs. Now as you activate your inner thighs, your glutes, your buttocks, are going to tighten up, which is absolutely fine. Strong core connection, look forward. Starting off with the calf raise. So heels lift up, arms reach up, and release. So heels lift up, calf raise, and release. Keep that going. If your arms reaching up are too much for you, you can just reach them to shoulder level and release, or reach them overhead. Try not to lean forward here. So again, coming up onto your tiptoes, my friends, onto your tiptoes, doing the calf raise. Suck the belly in for three, good work. For two, modifying if you need to with the arms. For one, and release, lovely work. Side view of that, so again, squeeze your ball in, tighten your buttocks in, suck your belly in. We're going to do a calf raise, excellent. So you can see I'm looking ahead of me, I'm not looking towards the floor. We're working the lower part of our legs, the calf muscles. 
You can modify the arms to just come as high as your shoulders. If you have any blood pressure issues, I will perhaps focus on just doing that movement initially. You might want to hold on to a wall for balance. It is up to you. You can choose whichever option you would like. So that's the last one. Thinking of a squat. So managing a chair behind me. So I've actually got a chair behind me. I'm just going to move that out the way. So have a look. Imagine the chair is there. You want to sit into the chair. So we're going to bend the knees, push our hips back, and we're going to come up slowly. Keep looking forward, hips back, squeeze your bottom at the top. Sit down, pushing up through your heels. Pushing up through your heels. Keep the ball or the book in place. Squeeze it in to three. Lovely work. Breathing out. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up. Just do one more and then release. So it's important as you come up in your squat that the weight is in the heels, not the toes. Second set, squat. We're going to add in the calf raise. It is an option. You don't have to do the calf raise. So you can modify. Again, squeeze your ball in. You can see how I'm really focusing on getting my inner thighs to work. My glutes or my buttocks are firing off, which is fine. Nail is fine. Chin up, look forward, squat, and calf raise. Squat, push the hips back, calf raise. Good work. Squat down. So we're working on strengthening our legs, our quadriceps, our buttocks, our back of our legs, our hamstrings, and our calves. Lots of areas working here. Core muscles are sucked in. Imagine you've got a belt wrapped around the waistline. Two more. Lovely work. And one more. Perfect. Take the ball. Pop it to the side for now. Shake up your legs a little bit there. You should have felt that hopefully. Catch your breath. Shake it out. So we're going to do a bit of cardio now. Remember I said at the beginning, it's kind of like circuit training. So we do a sort of a strength, a bit of cardio, strength. All right? So all we're going to do here now, side view, is our hamstring curls. That is your low to moderate intensity option, alright? If you feel like you can take it up a notch, you can add a little bit of a jump. A little bit of a hop almost. And stronger arm movement. Heel to butt, keep that pace. You've got about another 20 seconds, my friend. So you can either just go a little slower, you can hold on to the chair if you need to, or you can take it up a little notch. Just get the hamstrings moving. Lovely work. For three, for two, for one. Excellent. Shake it out. So that was a bit of aerobic work, just getting that heart rate up again. We're going to use our weights now, my friend. And or if you don't have weights at home, you can use water bottles, cans, like I said at the beginning. So whatever you've got, make use. I've got some light to moderate weights here. We're going to do the deadlift, and we're going to include some shoulder work here on the second set. So, shoulders broad, chest lifted. I would like to feet hip width apart, side view for now. Weights or bottles of water or cans in front of your thighs. Bend the knees. We're going to hinge forward, and we're going to come back up. So we're going to look forward, we're going to hinge, and we're going to lift. Shoulders remain broad, chest is lifted. So again, we're not, what I don't want to see you doing is rounding your spine like this. That's a no-no. I want to see length in your spine. This is a great one for working core muscles, your glutes, your buttocks, your spine, keep it slow and controlled. Two more on the set, please. Deadlift down, lift, squeeze your bum at the top, deadlift down, and lift. Excellent work. Shake up your legs. So we're going to build on that now on the second set. We're going to add in shoulders, which I said at the beginning. We're going to do the upright row movement. All right, working your upper back shoulder area. So feet slightly wider than hip width, core muscles tight, look forward, bend your knees. We're going to hinge into our deadlift, we're going to lift, and then elbows lift up, and we're going to lower down. We're going to go into the deadlift, we're going to come up, and we're going to upright row. Lovely. Now go at your own pace, please. Don't wait. Just slow down, have a break when you need to, come back. 
back in, as you deadlift, you come up and you upright row. So the upper back shoulders are working here. Just keep that pace slow, keep it controlled. On the next one, on the upright rows, we're going to do single arms. So, one arm lifts, lower. Other arm lifts, lower. Just stay here now. Single arm upright rows. A little bit of a challenge, especially if you've got <coughs> less power on the less dominant side of your body. So often if you are right-handed, the left side of the body can sometimes feel a little bit weaker. So we're just challenging that now. And the same if you're left-handed, the right side of the body may feel a little bit weaker. Let's just do two more. Last one. Lovely work. And release. Just pop your weights on the chair or wherever you are. Shake out your hands, move your fingers, move your wrists. Okay, we're going to do the knee raise now, a little bit of cardio, just to get the heart rate up. So you've got two options here low intensity to moderate intensity, just doing that nice knee lift, arms pull down. Yeah? If you're feeling more energetic, you can add a little bit of a jump. Knee raise. Jump. Yep. So remember your options. You can either do it low intensity, slow, or you can add a little bit of a jump with an arm pull down. And breathe. 12 seconds on the clock. Lovely. For three, for two, and for one. Check it out. March it out. Lovely. Grab some water underneath by example. And I'm going to do a little bit of a water break here. So I've got my nice air conditioned studio, as you can see. Water break is always good. Fantastic. All right. We're going to work the upper back shoulders now. So, same thing. Pick up the weights, please. We're going to do your rows, your bent over rows. Take one leg forward, one leg back. Bend the knee, front knee bent, back knee bent. Slight lean forward, bring the arms ahead of you. Squeeze, pull back, and release. Squeeze. So shoulder blades are squeezing together. Palms are facing each other. Your chin is parallel to the floor. You're looking forward. Elbows brush the ribcage. I'm going to change my teaching stance in a sec. So changing teaching stance, so I'm facing forward now, and you have a different view. You need to think about allowing the shoulder blades to draw in towards each other. Drop your chin slightly, so you're not hyperextending your neck. Just do three more, two, and one, and release. Shoulder roll out, loosen up, have a little breath. Second set coming up, yeah? So if that felt tough, especially if you've got a shoulder injury, lose the weight, do it without. Absolutely fine. Listen to your body. Change your leg stance. Take the other leg forward, other leg back. Bend the front knee, slight lean forward. Palms face in, look forward. We're going to lift and we're going to lower. So we're doing the upright rows again at a slightly different angle. Just keep looking forward, elbows lead, feel the upper back shoulders working, strengthening core, strengthening shoulders. Coming up, we've got our cardio session again. Let's go. You've got three, you've got two, lift up, and you've got one. Step it in, lovely work. Place the waist down, please. Shake out your hands, move your fingers, do whatever you need to do. Roll the shoulders, loosen up the neck. So, your low to moderate intensity option is a half star. Tapping the leg up to the side with the arms reaching out to the side. Or you can have the hands on the hip and tap the legs out. If you're feeling stronger and you have no ankle, knee, and hip issues, you can 
to a soft star jump. Yeah, soft knees, you choose. Remember your breathing, modify if you need to. Take it down, keep the pace. Remember the options, I'll show them again. Stick with the star jump, or do your half stars to the side. You've got 10 more seconds coming up, please. Woo! Last five, four, three, two, one. March it out, lovely work, shake it out. A bit of cardio again. So you can see the pattern. Strength, as in our rows. A bit of cardio, back to strength. So, picking up the weights again, my friends. Bicep, tricep. Front of arm, back of arm. Palms face forward. Feet hip width apart. Elbows into the side of the body. Single arm bicep curl. So, single arm alternating. Look forward, squeeze the front of the arm. Just focus on tightening the front of the arm without hunching your shoulders up. Side view, single arm below. Keep your wrists strong, so don't let the wrists just collapse. Lift and lower. You've got three more. You've got two more. And you've got one more. Excellent work. Straight into your tricep move. We're going to take our arms. We're going to lift them over our head. I'm going to face backwards so you can see me. We're going to lower down. And we're going to lift up. So again, your chin drops down. And the elbows face forward. Slow and controlled. Yep. Remember, you can lose the weight at any time. Lift them to your body. Lower and lift, chin drops. You've got three more. You've got two more. And you've got one more. And bring the arms over. Roll out the shoulders. Perfect. Hold on to the weights for now. We're going to do a short bicep tricep repeat. This time around, face forward, elbows in. And we're going to lift the heels up. And we're going to lower down. We're going to lift the heels up. And we're going to lower down. So we're just doing a calf raise along with the bicep curl. A little bit extra challenge. You can leave out the calf raise if you've got feeling up to it. Just focus again on strengthening, tightening, contracting the front of the arm. Without hunching your shoulders up, please. Listen to the body. Breathe. Exhale up. Inhale down. Two more, please. Last one, and release. Excellent. Take one leg forward, one leg back. Tricep kick back. Bend the front knee. Elbows into the side. Look up. Forearms go away from the body. Forearms come in. You can see the elbows remain still in space. The further forward you are leaning, and the more the front knee is bent, the more challenging this will be. Alright, so just think about that. If this feels really uncomfortable for you, you are more than welcome to repeat that first crisis exercise, which I will demonstrate now. So you either carry on doing this one, or you simply go back to doing that one. Overhead tricep extension. Alright? So again, you have options here that you can work with. So listen to those options. Stay focused on slow, I'm going to put my glasses on, controlled movements. We're almost there, my friends, almost there. We've got three, two, and one. Lovely work. Fantastic. We're going to go into a cool-down stretch now. So this workout shouldn't be more than around 30 minutes. So again, I'd like you just to find your posture. Make sure you're standing tall. That's just my ball run away from me. Shake out your hands, roll out your shoulders. Come to your march on the spot. Just shake everything out. So we've worked our legs, upper back shoulders. We've worked arms, pretty much the whole body. So just be proud of yourself. Be chuffed with yourself that you've been able to do it wherever you are in 
the world always important just to keep your bone density levels up do a little bit of strength training using some resistance as in some weights or some water bottles or whatever you have to hand yeah is good just march it out from here we're going to heel dig with a gentle scoop up you're just going to dig the heel down dig the heel down we're going to go into our hamstring stretch the back of your leg you might want to do this one seated. I will show you that option. On your next leg movement, hold it. Hinge forward, push your bum back, keep your lower back flat. Look ahead of you and hold. Arms to the side. You might want to hold on to a wall for balance. You can do this one seated. I will show you. You can sit on the chair, solid chair. Leg extends out. Heel down, we're going to lift up and we're going to gently lean forward, letting the hand rest on the knee lightly or on the shin. And just breathe. You feel like through the back of your leg, essentially. Bend the knee a little if you need to. Please don't force the stretch. Just allow the stretch to happen. Swapping out, swapping to the other leg. So either standing or repeating seated. So lift up from the tailbone, lean forward. Look ahead of you and breathe. Toes curling towards you, ankles dorsiflex. Slowly release that leg, push yourself up to standing. Quick reminder of the standing stretch. That movement. Front leg is straight, slight bend in the knee if you like, hinge forward, look up and breathe. Okay? Hold that. So remember that's why we put the chair there as an option if you need it. Alright, so we're going to just gently now, without putting ourselves in danger, we're just going to bend the knees, drop your head, and just stretch the upper back shoulders, bend your knees, move your hips side to side, arms are straight, no leaning back, relax your head, and then slowly come up, walk to the chair. Stand forward. If you need to hold on to the chair now is the time. If you have a knee or a hip issue, option one, bend your knee and stay here. Option two, hold on to the back of the shoe and draw the heel in. Option three, walk your hands in and draw the heel in towards your bottom and hold. Just breathe into that. Excellent, release that leg. And keeping on the other side, listen to your body bend. Stay here. So I'm just going to say forward on this one. Bend, stay here. Or we'll hold on to the back of the shoes. Or we'll hold on around the ankle and lift. Hips in line and breathe. Chest up, opening the front of your leg, my friend. Opening the front of your leg. If you fall out, smile, get back in. Hold on to a wall for balance. Perfectly fine. And then release. Shake it out. Lovely. Stand tall. Check your posture. Take a nice inhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again, lovely deep breath in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And gently release. Well done. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for sharing. Um, and for uh, subscribing to the Central YMCA Challenge, it's a challenge channel, I think my language is going today. Um, remember, on the playlist, you've got close to a hundred different workouts on here now, some chair-based sessions, stretching, Pilates, Zumba Gold. Please do keep watching, please keep doing them. Thank you so much for staying engaged with the charity. For those of you who've been donating towards the charity, the, the link is below if you click on the read more button. Um, yeah, it's been great to be back in the club, but I'm going to keep doing the YouTube videos um, as often as I can, really, because I'm conscious that for many, part, many of you across the world, um, you know, some of you are in lockdown or half lockdown. So, yeah, please keep doing this. So we've gone just over 30 minutes on here, a little bit of strength, a bit of cardio. 
Um, so yeah, any comments, any feedback, you can always email me at declan.dunton at ymca.co.uk. That's D-E-C-L-A-N, um, and then D-U-N-C-A-N, Declan Duncan. All right, my friends, thank you so much. Stay well, keep safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.